I've come to Mechelen in Belgium, to the site of the former Dossin Army Barracks, which is now a Holocaust memorial and documentation centre. This week a new museum has opened, funded by the Flemish government. It's not only a memorial to the Holocaust victims, but it's also seeking to understand the minds of the people that perpetrated such vile action against them. From July 1942 until September 1944, 25,000 Jewish men, women and children from all over Belgium were brought to Dosen Barracks, where they were locked in cattle trucks and then taken to Auschwitz-Birkenau. Two-thirds were gassed immediately and the other third were used for forced labour. The new museum, built in a stark modern style, is a three-storey catalogue of mostly Belgian non-Jew collaboration with the Nazis against fellow Belgian Jews. The stark exhibition is displayed in an almost clinical fashion, using photographs and factual text to let the horrors of Dossin speak for themselves. Professor Hermann van Goten is the curator of the museum. I asked him what was his approach to the exhibition. In this project we already since the 1990s we are scanning the faces of these people because 90% of them were foreigners and so they have a file, a record in the Ministry of Interior. So we have photographs of these people and we collected at about now 19,000 portraits of the 25,800 deportees. And they are here on the wall, the people in color survived those who are not in color did not survive. It starts from the third floor and it goes till, and it goes till the ground floor. So we are, we are here now at the, 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 the ground floor. So you see a lot of people in color, but, but, but this is people deported in 1944. They had more chance to survive if they were selected for labor. At the third floor, in the beginning, there is almost no one in color, they all died. Uh, we are not only trying to analyze the victims, what did they did, how did they did, why, but we are also trying to analyze the perpetrators. Who were they? How can we explain that apparently ordinary people, as you and me, can be able in, circum in certain circumstances to become mass murderers? It is also a museum on collective violence, on the Holocaust and of collective violence. What took place here at Dossin Barracks between 1942 and 1944 took place with the full complicity of the Belgian authorities and yet not one Belgian civil servant was ever prosecuted. We hope that this new museum and memorial will go some way towards ensuring that these things never happen again. Colin Stevens for JN1 at Mechelen in Belgium.